This question appeared on a video about working with multiple tabs in Selenium. What Nick wanted to know was how to click on a link while holding down the shift key so that the link opens up in a brand new window. To demonstrate how this works, I'm going to assume that you already know at least the basics of working with Selenium in VBA. And if not, we've got a whole bunch of videos in this playlist which explain how it does work. For demonstration, I'm going to be working with the Wikipedia main page and clicking on this link. And I've already written the basic code I need to get a reference to that A element. So I've got a blank Excel workbook saved as a macro enabled file. And I've written some basic code in here to launch a new instance of Google Chrome, navigate to the Wikipedia main page and get a reference to that specific element. Clicking on something is one of the most straightforward things I think you can do in Selenium. I've got a reference to the element I want to click on stored in this variable here called E. So to click on that, I can simply say E.click. If I then run the subroutine, I'll find that it loads the Wikipedia main page, clicks on the Wikipedia link, and I land on the page I'm interested in. But of course, this time I want to hold down the shift key while I'm doing that. So in the next example, we're going to make use of the extra optional parameter of the click method called modifier keys. And in order to do that most effectively, we're going to create a new instance of the Selenium keys class. To create a new instance of the keys class, let's start by declaring a variable. So I'm going to call mine ks as selenium.keys. We then need to create a new instance of that class, which we can do in a couple of different ways. We could create an auto instancing variable by including the new keyword in the variable declaration. Alternatively, we could have a separate set statement like we have for our Chrome driver class. So we can say set ks equals new selenium dot keys. Once we've done that, we can reference that variable in the modifier keys parameter of the click method. So we're going to say ks dot, and then all the keys, all the special keys have nice sensible names. So if I want to reference the shift key, I can simply say ks dot shift. And with that simple difference, if we run the subroutine again, this time, when we click on our link, we don't create or we don't follow the link in the same instance of Chrome, we follow the link in a completely separate window. Chrome allows you to hold down a number of different keys when you click on a link to affect the way the link is followed. So this time let's hold down the control key instead of the shift key. We can say ks.control. Then when we run the subroutine again, we'll find that the link gets clicked, but we open up a new tab in the same instance of Chrome. We remain on the original main page. We don't navigate to that tab. If that's something you're interested in learning how to do, then the original question was asked on a video which explains exactly how to work with multiple tabs in Selenium. You could also hold the control key and the shift key at the same time by concatenating those two keys together in the same argument. So we can say ks.control and then concatenate that with ks.shift. Having done that, we can run the subroutine again. And when we run it, we'll see that we open a new tab in the same instance of Chrome, but this time we navigate to the new tab rather than remaining on the original main page. Now, it doesn't matter which way around you list those keys. We could have said shift first and then control, and the same thing would have happened. So if we change that to shift and control and then run the subroutine again, we'll see we get the new tab and navigate to that new tab as well. One other interesting thing we can do in Chrome is hold down the Alt key while we click on a link to download the link's target. So let's change our e.click ks.control, etc. Let's change that to ks.alt. And then I'm just going to show my downloads folder at the moment. If I open up the Windows Explorer window and have a look in the downloads folder, there's nothing in there. But if I head back to the Visual Basic Editor and then run that subroutine again, we'll see that we've triggered the download bar at the bottom. And when that's finished, if we head back to the downloads folder, we can see we've downloaded the HTML document that was the target of that link. So there we go. There's the basics of holding down keys while you click on links in Google Chrome. Hopefully that's enough to answer Nick's original question, but if not, feel free to keep on asking questions and I'll do my best to keep on answering them. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.